Have you ever wondered what a colony on Mars would look like? More importantly, how will humanity achieve such a feat, if it's even possible, in the first place? Well, if Elon Musk is to be believed, the idea of humanity becoming an interplanetary species is not as crazy as you might think. Let's take a look at Elon Musk's ambitious Martian vision and how his company SpaceX is working hard to turn it into a reality. In 2016, Elon Musk unveiled an ambitious vision to establish a human presence on Mars. This audacious concept can be viewed as a pivotal catalyst behind the resurgence of public enthusiasm for mankind's exploration of outer space. The last time humanity gazed at the cosmos with such resolve and fascination was likely during the Apollo missions. Although the historic moon landing occurred in 1969, our species has experienced a period of relative stagnation in venturing into the profound depths of space. However, this scenario appears to be finally changing. Musk has played a significant role in rekindling the flames of interest and demonstrates a resolute commitment to evolving humanity into a multi-planetary civilization. Nevertheless, formidable obstacles loom on the path to translating this vision into reality. Factors ranging from the financial expenses to the inherent perils of embarking on such an expedition necessitate careful consideration. While Musk's aerospace company, SpaceX, has made noteworthy progress in bringing this concept closer to fruition, certain setbacks have caused the program to deviate from its originally intended timeline by a couple of years. Musk envisions two distinct paths for the future of humanity. Either we become a spacefaring civilization inhabiting multiple planets, or we remain earthbound until a potential extinction event caused by factors like nuclear war or natural disasters. According to him, the safer route lies in becoming a multi-planetary species, with much hinging on the success of a pivotal rocket designed to transport humans to Mars. The cornerstone of this ambitious plan is a colossal spacecraft named the Falcon Heavy. Anticipated to reach a towering height of at least 200 feet when fully assembled. This rocket will be coupled with an interplanetary transport system called the Starship and mounted atop a booster measuring 39 feet in width, capable of generating an astounding 28 million pounds of thrust, propelled by a remarkable assembly of 42 individual Raptor engines the booster will accelerate the Mars-bound craft to speeds exceeding 5,374 miles per hour. In its entirety, this spacecraft is projected to be 3.5 times more potent than NASA's renowned Saturn V, the tallest rocket to date responsible for ferrying the Apollo missions to the Moon. Furthermore, the Starship is slated for launch from Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral in Florida, the very launch site that once propelled humans toward the moon. However, SpaceX is also developing launch facilities at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas, which could serve as the gateway to Mars. Following the initial launch, the rocket's primary task is to propel the Starship crew capsule into Earth's orbit. Once accomplished, the booster autonomously detaches and guides itself back to the launch pad for a gentle landing, a feat SpaceX has achieved successfully for several years. The subsequent step involves the booster retrieving a fuel tanker and carrying it into orbit. This tanker becomes crucial for refueling the Starship, preparing it for the journey to Mars. En route, the Starship deploys solar panels to harness solar energy conserving onboard fuel for the momentous landing on the Martian surface. Elon Musk's vision entails these spacecrafts and their crews remaining in Earth's orbit until a specific alignment of Earth and Mars occurs, 
happening approximately once every 26 months. During this opportune period, SpaceX plans to have a fleet of hundreds of spaceships in orbit, ready to embark together, forming a cohesive Mars colonial fleet. The linchpin of Elon Musk's grand plan hinges on the remarkable reusability of the boosters. Musk emphasizes that ensuring the spaceship's reusability is essential, it forms the bedrock of his strategy. According to him, a self-sustaining colony on Mars is unattainable without this crucial element. It's an integral aspect of the entire blueprint. Musk draws a historical parallel, highlighting that much like the significance of reusable wooden sailing ships in the formation of the United States, the reusability of these space technologies is pivotal for the success of human colonization on Mars. SpaceX's ambitious projections underline this emphasis on reusability. Their plan envisions each rocket booster being reused an astonishing thousand times, the tankers a hundred times, and each starship at least 12 times. Initial missions are slated to accommodate around 100 people per ship, with expectations of this number steadily rising to over 200 as the program progresses. These estimates suggest that populating Mars with a million inhabitants could be achieved within a time frame spanning from 40 to 100 years after the inaugural voyage. Moreover, the reusability factor ensures that once on Mars, these spacecraft can be repurposed for return journeys to Earth. Hey spacers, before you pack your bags for the Red Planet, hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. And now, back to Mars. Before the human phase of colonization can commence on Mars, a series of unmanned cargo supply missions will pave the way. Overcoming the challenge of Mars's thin atmosphere is paramount. Even NASA had to exercise extreme caution when landing their Curiosity rover, which weighed a mere 2,000 pounds and constitutes only a fraction of the payload that manned missions will carry. To address this issue, SpaceX is diligently refining its supersonic retro rocket technology. The goal is to enable spacecraft to gradually enter Mars's atmosphere and gently lower heavy payloads onto the surface using this reusable method. But that's not the only hurdle. Safely entering the Martian atmosphere poses another significant challenge. The spacecraft must endure intense heat during entry and execute a controlled propulsive landing. Additionally, it needs to be capable of refueling, ensuring it can return to Earth and repeat the process. In the initial stages, the missions will likely involve delivering essential supplies and establishing a propellant depot on Mars. This strategic setup ensures the possibility of return trips when necessary. After these supply missions, human explorers can finally embark on their journey to Mars. The first crew will rely on innovative techniques, including digging beneath the Martian surface and extracting buried ice. This ice will serve as a vital water source, eventually powering the entire colony's sustainability efforts. After the initial crew of scientists and engineers has established the essential infrastructure, fierce competition will emerge for the first seats to transport willing individuals to the newly colonized planet. Yet, the upcoming phase of the project is notably more audacious. Once the initial outpost is operational, Elon Musk plans to offer people the chance to move to the first Martian city. However, many life support experts remain skeptical about the feasibility of sustaining such a significant population on such a harsh and unforgiving planet. The technologies required for this endeavor are still in the developmental stages and might not be ready in the foreseeable future. Despite these challenges, Musk remains undeterred. His determination to provide humanity with a backup plan on Mars is unwavering. 
The goal is to transport no less than one million people to the Red Planet. The estimated cost for a one-way ticket to Mars stands at around $200,000 each. Remarkably, this price is achievable due to the reusable technologies that SpaceX is diligently perfecting. Musk also promises that life on Mars will be far from monotonous. He ensures that the city will be equipped with all modern amenities, offering a fulfilling and enjoyable life. This includes everything from essential facilities like iron foundries to delightful additions such as pizza joints and bars, making the prospect of living on Mars more enticing for prospective settlers. Elon Musk's vision appears to be an ambitious undertaking, but his determination to transform this dream into a tangible reality is unwavering. While the initial timeline might have faced setbacks, the progress made so far underscores SpaceX's serious commitment to this mission. The Falcon Heavy has already established itself as the world's most dependable heavy lift vehicle and the Starship inches closer to completion with each passing day. Considering this rapid pace of development, it's conceivable that we could witness the first supply drop to Mars within the next two to three years or perhaps even sooner. So spacers, what do we think? Can SpaceX and Elon Musk pull off this ambitious endeavor? Or is the idea of a colony on Mars too good to be true? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for spacing out with us. See you next video.